Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fix myself. You, 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 you should have got a makeup. Yeah, artist. man, we should put a makeup artist in. So. Like a cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Be hey ready. guys, welcome back to Grip in the Wheel, Season Four, Episode Two. Sir, introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Mayu Wilson, right? And nice to meet you all. You know what I mean? So. You drive this big fancy thing. Yes, sir, man. What, yep. Uh, I drive it. How long have you been doing this? Um, I work here for Tri-State, like, what, a year and three months now I've been doing it. Okay. Right, but overall driving truck, uh, like, four years. Four years? Yeah, four years driving truck. You know? And do you live local around here? No, I live in Bossier, probably, like, I'm based in Louisiana. We're in Texas now, we're in Louisiana, so it's, like, probably, like, 45 minutes away from here. Okay. Yeah, that's where I live. Right, so it's hey, this far. is. Uh, tell me a little bit about the truck. I mean, I'm looking at it. It's super cool. Hey, man, let's be careful, man. First, I tell you, careful when you're touching my truck, right? Don't touch the truck. <laughs> okay, I tell you, touch it. Well, it as you see is a Peterbilt. Yeah. Right. Um, it is as you as you see is a nice long base Peterbilt. It looks um, like sexy. it looks like you're probably I'm, around 300 wheel, inch wheelbase or so, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm rolling us. Yeah, plus I'm rolling on some low profile. Right, as you see, running DEF, you know what I mean? I see my nice stock. I yeah. love these stocks, man. There's, there's one thing I love about this truck, man. The, the, Dyna, the Dynaflex stacks are nice. Yeah, I love it. You know what I mean? I love the chrome look on top of it. Yeah. Right. I love the white. I mean, I, I's a white guy. Yeah. Right. So, as you see, we run um, a vacuum trailer on top of it. Plus, we let me show you. Well, this is the vacuum pump okay. for the trailer. Yep. Right. So. This is basically is like right now it's it's, it's in a sucking mode, yep. right? So we could suck. So if you're gonna fill the trailer yeah, up, yeah, you gotta be in this direction, here, so okay, right? When um, offloading, most of the time, like if you have water, you don't have to you don't have to use any pressure for offload, okay, right? But like if you use like if you all like all base small, it's kind of thick, right? So you put it in the, I mean, the and pressure, out, yeah, it. push out unload, you know okay. what I mean? So it's basically this, I mean, this is what we do. Right, and then I get a tree line wet kit, but this is for an end dump. I know if you're familiar with the end yeah. dump, an yeah. end dump trailer. So you hook the end dump up, we get the hydraulic so box. Run, so you run one of these deals and you run an end dump also? Yeah, I run an end dump. Which so one do you like the best? I love both of them. Best. Love both now, both of them bring money for me. <laughs> <laughs> both of them bring money for me, so I love both of them the most. Okay. I mean, end dump pay a little bit more though. Okay. I mean, but uh, end dump is a little bit more relaxed, you know, not much to do. But this here, right, I mean, if you want me to walk to the back, I yep. can show you. With the bottle trailer, right, you see, I got some hoses up top there. Yep. Man, yeah, well, it's basically where you the go out there. they're dirty. Yeah, you got to be dirty, you man. Get a little dirty. Hell uh, yeah. Okay, okay. You want to get dirty too with me? <laughs> so basically, where you go on the rig, right, I call it. When you look and see where you got a haul, and you'll be like, pick a pison. I'd be like, pick a pison means that pick what size of hose you want. Right. So we get three inch over there. I got some four inch here. I see I get some three inch, I mean four to three, yep. and I get some four inch. Okay. So basically, if you got to haul all this motor or any water out to some big tank, because on the rig, when you go out on the rig, like when they're drilling, mm -hmm. they get a lot of fluid come back. Okay. You know what I mean? And they, they, they kind of put it inside these box, it's like some big square box. Yep. And this is where they call we, and we go out there, and we kind of suck When it, it. gets full, yeah. you're going to offload call it us, for yeah, them. Yeah, come offload it for them, take it to the disposal. So most of you use it, your four inch, and you put it on it. But the first thing you got to do. How long does it take to fill this thing up? Oh, man, it all depends on how thick is the, the material. Like okay. water, like if you're sucking water, it probably could take you like 10 minutes. Okay. You know what I mean? Once your pump running good, this is why it's good to service your pump, right? It take you like, uh, probably, like 10 minutes. Pretty quick. Yeah, okay. I mean, all this small, it can take you a little bit, kind of a little more thicker, probably like 20, 30 minutes. Okay. But the first thing you do, step aside like this. Because these gap pieces, uh, man, if you if you keep it for man, you blow it on it is in your stomach. Because this is pressurized. The reason why I tell you though, when I first do this, I learned the hard way. Man, the thing hit me in my stomach like somebody punched me. You know what I mean? So the first thing you do is try to bleed the, the air out of it. Right now you ain't got no air in it. Yeah. But if I throw it inside, oh, you hear the air? Yeah. Because sometimes you might work and accidentally hit this. All right? And the air, I'll step aside, it won't hurt you. <laughs> sometimes the air build up in the air. Yeah. You understand me? So this is what's happening. Right, so it's good to make sure you bleed your hair before you before open you your valve. It. Then you put, well, you got to put the hose on first before you open your valve and try I to suck. that would hurt. 
I if it know, had a bunch of pressure. Man, I know I'm with you, man, but I, feel, I, I take it I take it like a man, boy. <laughs> I take it like a man. Yeah, well, you know jumping I mean? this thing go for a ride. You sure you want to ride? Yeah. Make sure you clean your feet, you know, man. Uh, Watch I'm it clean the side. shoes off before we get in. No problem. <laughs> I want to make this truck's too nice to make it dirty. Okay, okay. Want me to open the door for you? No, I can get you that. Sure? Yeah, I got that. <laughs> I got a door for you, though. <laughs> So this is the truck, you know what I mean? This is nice. See, it's nice. It's loaded up. You got all the you got all the good stuff in here. Yes, sir. Dude, man. you even got the heated seat. Yep, yep. I mean, I gotta be comfortable, man. My boss take care of me. <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot of companies you could work for that have a truck. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is fully loaded. All the gauges, heated seats. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. The, the good seats in it, even. Yeah, man. Uh, That's one thing I like. I mean, since I work tri-state over a year, I mean, they take care of you. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they take care of you. I mean, there's no problem. I mean, you need some, you ask, and they they, they 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 try the best to try to make you comfortable. Yep. Right. So there's not. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, like working for a fleet, and we we do. I'm around a lot of people with trucks. Mm -hmm. But there's and you you're on the interstate. You never see. Mm -hmm. uh, you see mostly, you know, aero kind of plastic trucks. Mm -hmm. So getting to drive a hood truck, mm -hmm. especially one that's customized like this one, is that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice, man. So, so where? Tell me again, where you're from? I'm from Guyana. Okay. And that's um, where a lot of people think it's Ghana, but it's not Ghana. Guyana. Guyana, G U Y A N D, right? Okay. And that is um in in South America. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's in South America. That's in um, it's a it's an only English speaking country in the whole of South America. It's close to Brazil. Close to Venezuela, okay. close to Suriname, yep. right? But they still consider us as a Caribbean country. Okay. So it's basically, I step in, man. What do you want me to be? You want me to be a South American? You want me to be a Caribbean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we because we still share all of the all of the same stuff as a Caribbean country. Right. And the Caribbean headquarters is actually in our country. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, we are Jamaica, Bahamas, all of them. We share the same culture. All the same culture stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We share all. I, the same. I like the. I like the food. Yeah. Like, like spicy the, food. Yeah, I love yeah, spicy it's, food. It's, it's all totally different, man. Yeah. The herbs and everything is just real nice over there, man. So how how long have you how long did you live there and how long have you been here? Well, I've been here like six years. I'm I'm 37 right now. Okay. So we say like 31 years. I'm living over there. Yeah. Yes. Right, so I move here. I move here to my wife. Got my wife, she from over there. Okay. So her dad, he from over there too. He used to work as an x-ray technician in the oil field. Okay. So he decided after he retired, he see that Louisiana is kind of quiet for him. So he decided to, you know I mean? He decided to retire move in to Louisiana. Louisiana. Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. And then, so you moved here. You've been here six years. You were telling me out there earlier, uh, mm -hmm. you've been trucking for four. Yeah, I'm trucking for four. Because so when you came here, you, you were like, I, I want to drive a truck. Yeah, but I used to drive a truck over there before. Okay. Right, but over there we, we used to drive, I think we always call it engine over cab or cab over. Cab engine, overs, yeah. The square one. Yeah. Yeah, but like the seat. And stuff. But another thing is that we drive on the other side of the road. We sit over here. Yeah, we and over there. So we car. shift over here. So oh, it was kind of new here. to me, you know what I mean? It was kind of new to me. So when I first came here, I used to do construction. Yeah. Right? I used to do construction work. So, um, a guy used to bring um a guy used to bring the material mm -hmm. right to the construction site with a big truck. Yeah. So I asked him, so he's like, man, how much money you make? He was like, man, you show me how much money you make. I was like, man, I think this is what I'm gonna, this do, what I'm gonna do. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. And this is all I get into the trucking. Yeah. Right? And not because of the money alone, it's because I love driving too. Yeah. Yeah, I love to drive. Oh, I would love to drive this. This is a this is an awesome <laughs> truck. <laughs> Yeah, so this I uh, go and get my my permit. Actually, the guy said go and get a permit. If you know to drive, go and get a permit first, right? And then yep. look for some third party testing people, mm -hmm. and just go and do your test. So you said you were working for some other companies. You said you've been working at Tri-State for about a year and a half, then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, about a year. Yeah, about about a year and a half. What do you? What's the? What do you like about? The job here oh what i love about the job here i mean every job is different mm -hmm. but for tri-state what i love about it you know what i mean is that one, one thing they allow you to make how much money you want to make okay right because we work on percentage 
and this is what I like. And I love to work, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I love to work. So, well, I'm on a rig, right? So, basically on the rig, on the rig side, you control the rig. So when the rig need, um, when the rig need a truck, they call you. Okay. You'll be the first call, right? But sometimes, sometimes the rig is be, um, is, is be kind of slow, mm -hmm. but it give you room now for do extra work. Okay. So you just call your supervisor and be like, hey man, I got some time on my hand. I need to find some load for you. Probably going to some oil base mud, some pit water. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get you some extra money in your pocket. Grab an end up. Uh, yeah, grab, exactly. Okay. So this one thing I love about the job. Yeah. You know what I mean? It keep you busy. Yep. Right. And I think, I think this kind of this style of trucking is probably pretty fun. It's not the same where I'm just like I'm going to California. Mm -hmm. I'll be there in two days. You, 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 you're in and out of the truck, yeah. you're moving, you're doing stuff. Yeah, yeah. Actually, when I, when I got my CDL, I used to be over the road. I used to drive a frack pump. Okay. Yeah, I used to drive a frack pump, and the frack pump, they converted it into like a big, look at it as a pressure washer on a big scale. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to go to those paper mills and clean the boilers out. Oh, okay. Like after the boiler um, thing, a set, of, a set of like salt cake used to build up inside the boiler on the tubes. Yeah. So we used to take the pressure, uh, the pump, the frack pump, I uh, used to run some hose inside the boiler. Okay. At the end of the hose, we used to get like a 20 foot, uh, two inch metal pipe. Yep. At the end of it, you get like a T. Okay. Both ends get a hole, like a pressure washer. You used to spin like this. And clean it all and out. Clean it all out. Man. Okay. And there was some high pressure we used to get run, like, you know I mean, 9,000 PSI and those kind of things. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. Real, real, real wild. And so, like with this I, job, I imagine you can kind of, you, you can be home when you want to be home. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and this nice thing about the rig side is that on the saltwater side you get a schedule, mm -hmm. right? Where you work six to two. The rig side, actually, I used to drive for the saltwater side when I first came to Tri-State. Okay. Right, and um, uh, I got my, two of my buddy. They work on the rig side. Okay. So the day I tell my buddy, I said, "Man, I want to apply to Tri-State." He was like, "Okay, no problem. Come down to the office." So I come down to the office and I talk to the wrong person because I used to talk to a guy named Dr. Pepper. He controlled the rig side. Okay. So I speak to a guy named Lance, pretty cool guy too, man. And um, Lance said, yeah, I hire you right away. So when my buddy here, he said, hey, man, you get you the job? I said, yeah, um, I supposed to start on South Water. He was like, no, man, you need to go on the rig side. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you learn a new thing, though. Yeah, you know, yeah, cool. yeah, that, yeah. It's like even, hey, even with the company, if like something goes on, hey, like, exactly. we need your help, you can go do whatever. Exactly, exactly. So I ended up getting switched to the rig side because one, oh, oh, I ended up getting switched fast to the rig side to go one of my buddy who was working the rig. He called me for give you a hand on uh, the South Water truck. Yep. So I go out there on the rig and I do a good job and the company man like I would do a good job yep. and he was like hey man you need to come and work on the rig side with us. Okay. You know what I mean? And he make a call and when he make the call you know what I mean? I was in the door when he made the call. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yeah. So you, you, this is, it sounds like this is, uh, this is a good home for you. Yeah it is, it is, it yeah. is, it is. It is a good home. Hey y'all, let me tell you what. I was the videographer for the link, and I was doing a jam up job video in here. But I gave his phone to Brian so he could video back this way for just one second so I could talk about this man right here. Shit. And I'm sitting on the edge of his bed. I'm gonna tell you what, this, <laughs> this housekeeping that he's got going on back here is second to none. It's like this truck is brand new. It yes. is so Thank clean you, man. back here. Yes, Thank sir. You. Made, Appreciate you know, it. Man, good job. <laughs> Appreciate it, it man. Is job. It, is, Appreciate it is super nice. It. Yeah, it's pretty shared, man. Thank the you. The bed is made. There's not a speck of dirt <laughs> on the floor. Hell man, yeah. I, I don't even have my boots on back here. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid to. I think I need to take my socks off. But you know the thing about it is that in my country, like if you enter my house, you got to take your boots off. Right. So I got the same concept in my house. Okay. Right in, in Beaujolais. You come to my house, I ask, please take your boots off. Yeah. So it's like, if I go in behind there, I take my boots off and leave it somewhere and go behind. Up here and you know go back. I mean? yep. Exactly. Yeah. Um, because this one, I, I know it. You know what I mean? Me, so me I and Sean, we were pretty used to that. Like, we take trucks to the truck shows and stuff, and mm -hmm. you just don't ever get in with your feet, with your shoes on. Yeah, you just yeah. Just keep it clean. Yeah, yep, yep. I know sometimes you get dirty or whatever, but... I mean, sometimes you get time at a job where you could just take some time to clean your truck out, man. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. And just sitting there being on your phone all the time. Let's clean your truck out. Yeah, yeah. This is where it's like 
one minute I understand they give you this truck it's like if it's yours right right and you got to take care of it you can't expect them to come and do it right. you see what I'm saying and I always believe in one thing right the way you see a man treat yourself is how you treat yourself at home right you see what I'm saying and yeah. I'm I'm not OCD but I like see my things clean you know clean, what I mean yep. I didn't notice watch I get my boy right to my <laughs> my door in, so I got my rock right there I'm talking about Wipe it, it down, down, keep it I clean. Mean, you, spend, you spend a lot of time in, in a truck. Yeah. I mean, and this is a super nice truck. Yeah. So it's, I'm with you. I, like, I just keep it clean. Make yeah, it nice. yeah. This is, this is even, like, you're spending even when the first, the even, you. yeah, even though when I start, I mean, they've been giving me some old truck to drive, and I still used to keep it clean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I keep it really clean, you know what I mean? I'm going to clean it up. So going down the road here, uh, kind of tell me a little more about your day to day with this stuff. Um, oh, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Like, do you bring a lunch with you? Because the truck's got a fridge and everything else in it, so you've got like. Oh uh, yeah, most these. of the time, my wife would fix me up a lunch. You know what I mean? Because I'm I'm food based. I don't really eat a lot of fast food. Mm -hmm. If I eat fast food, I see somewhere or try to grab them for something healthy. I don't eat McDonald's, so we cook a lot. Okay. So my wife, she will bring food to me. No, I'm not bringing. She will pack a lunch for me. Yeah right so and um, i bring a lot of food i drink a lot of water i don't drink a lot of soda and you know, those stuff right um my day today when i leave the house i mean pray yeah pray for a good day you know what i mean you leave the house i go on the rig i do my job right sometimes i gotta be there sometimes they call me out on the job and sometimes i end up spending a whole day there yeah yeah right yeah sometimes I spend all day so and that's pretty awesome. So you got a truck, it's got a fridge, you mm -hmm. can keep all your stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to put my TV and my microwave in there next. Oh man, you got to make it in. <laughs> I get my, oh, well, yeah, it's like a home away from home. Yep. You know what I mean? There's always look at it, a home away from home. You know what I mean, we got you out there, so, you know what I mean? So you, you want to be comfortable. Oh, yeah. So it's pretty, like, um, if, you're, if, you're, if you're working during the day, mm -hmm. uh, like with this setup, I imagine like it's it's not a lot of miles. It sounds like you're loading, unloading. Like is it no, are you they fairly short runs or yeah, it's very short runs. Most of the disposers are just like thirty minutes apart. Okay. So you don't be all the driving so long on the on the road. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. Yeah, people just be like, man, you're a truck driver, man. You probably just go all over. I said, no, nah, man. I think it's the best truck driving job yeah, I, I ever got. You know what I mean? Got my old, my previous job I had, man. I used to be all over. Virginia, West Virginia, you're Florida. Gone, I'll be gone, man. Yeah. yeah. I'll be gone. So, I mean, I think this is one of the best moves I ever made. Yep. Yeah, my buddy. I mean, my buddy that encouraged me. And, yeah, I got two buddy working here. Terrence. Big up T-Room, man. Terrence T-Room. <laughs> and Norman, they're, they're two good guys, man. So that's pretty I cool. wouldn't believe so it. Me and Terrence. You're working with oh, I'm cool. cutting you, man. Yeah, you're good. But I want to have a T Ron. Want to have a T Ron and Norman. We used to work together at the same fracking company. Okay. And Norman actually teach me to drive. Really? Yeah. Norman actually teach me to drive the 18 speed. Okay. Yeah. Before, uh, what were you driving when when you were in the other in your other country? But I used to drive. Yeah. Used to be basically five speed. Five speed. <laughs> yeah. Was it a Scania or something like that? Uh, like uh, basically, like it was standard. Yeah. Yeah, it was a standard five speed. Yeah, regular five speed. Like some of the some of the European trucks, they're um, they're synchronized transmissions. Yeah. And you have to use the clutch and every gear. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah and yep, then yep. you get these. Mm, it's, it's, it's not that way at all. No, nah, it's not a big. Just float your gears. You know yep. what I mean? And shit, but. It's basically mostly trucks back home. There's like Toyota, we Toyota trucks. Okay. They are there for now. They are different types, right? But they're the first time when I come to America. The first time I drive a Peterbilt on a long nose. Yeah. You know what I mean? It probably took a little getting used to. Yeah, it did. It did. But I, but I'm a fast learner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Show me something one, two, you're gonna show me back again, right? I'm a fast learner. That's right? pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So if I was if, if I if you if I was looking for a job and I was thinking I wanted to I wanted to get into something, why should I? What would you tell me why I should apply for a job here? I would tell you, yeah, man, family. They're all about family. You know what I mean? And why the reason I say this is that they take care of you. Okay. And sometimes you just want a job where that you know what I mean they will 
take care of you. Once you feel kind of stressed out, working with the company, you know what I mean? That guy making money for the company, you know what I mean? They take care of you. And there's one thing I would tell anybody. If you got you to gotta work somewhere that you feel comfortable with. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's not yep. about the money. Because you could be working and making the money and be stressed out. Yeah. So with Tri-State, it's, it's all about family. That's all I can see. Okay. So anybody ever said, man, come on, we got to take care of you, you know what I mean? You don't got to worry about it. They they appreciate they appreciate, appreciate you being you. here. Yeah, they appreciate they, you being here. You know what I mean? They don't be on you. I mean, too hard for things. You know what I mean? Right. Right. The money is good. So how can you be the way you work in a family oriented? I mean, company where everybody's family and you're getting paid good. How can you be the man? <laughs> and you're driving. And you're driving, you're driving awesome good. Truck. They give you a brand new truck and tell hey, this truck is your own. Well, small. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I've known Troy for a while, and he's a he's a he's an awesome dude. I, yeah, I, I, I couldn't. Yeah, I could never think that it would yeah. ever be bad to work for yeah. for this company. To be honest, well. before I start work here, right after my buddy tell me keep them a tri state, I started doing my research. Mm -hmm. So I used to watch all the gripping the wheel videos with Troy talking. Especially get a, a nice uh, nice um red truck. I like the truck, man. Yeah. The show truck, yeah. <laughs> Both Cephas? Yeah, yeah. So I used to watch and see how he used to talk and how the drivers them used to talk about it. So, yeah, I mean, and I like it. Nice. I mean, I said, man, I want to get on with this company. Right? And I'm here now. This, <laughs> this is super cool. I, like, I've enjoyed uh, hanging out with you, talking, riding yes, around sir, the I truck. I appreciate y'all too, man. It's super cool and uh, make sure when you leave, please leave a tip. I got tip jars. Oh, tip jars. Is it, there's no meter running on this. I'm not getting the bill, right? Uh, uh, well, we go find out in a minute. Troy, Troy's gonna send me one. You gonna send you one? <laughs> you ran over our boots. Hell yeah, I ran over your boots. I know what happened, man. Don't take it out to my check, though. I thought you said leave a tip in the tip jar. Yeah, man. I told oh. him we didn't have a tip. He ran over our shoes. Come on, man. Yes. <laughs> Hang on, let's see what I got. Give me something, man. Let's see what I got. I will get you next time. Come on. I'll get you next Come time. Come on. Hey, Leave. you want this, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. We get you it. You want this, it. right? Oh, oh, we got to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Leave that. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try stay, baby. <laughs> Just wanted you to let know, man. Thank you for watching Gripping the Wheel. You know what I mean? Look forward for more. Yeah, man. Take care. One love. <laughs>